What's up, Touches? So tomorrow I'm starting another round of interviews and whatnot. So, holy shit, I might end up making like a half a million dollars on W-2s, but a year if I work the whole year. I might get this one job paying $200,000 that's night shift and this other job paying close to around the same thing uh, remote in the daytime. And that's totally fine because they're different shifts and whatnot and still the trading and all that bullshit. <clears throat> if I was to get those jobs, because I'd, I'd be making like a cool half a million if I work for a whole year, I might just work for a whole year, stack everything in the bank, ride the crypto wave coming up, cash that out, and then I should be pretty fucking set. The only catch is they want me to get a SISP within six months. So I might just cash out some crypto here in a little bit on the next little bump up and sign up for that again and actually go take it this time because 200k night shift is pretty fucking sweet. That alone would be pretty fucking sweet. <clears throat> Look, uh, Tiff, whatever Tiffany's going to do, she's going to do no matter what. Like, it, I, this is super duper weird. It's like, the 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 crazy shit that she's involved in is fucking nuts it it's it's i have no idea how she's involved in charlottesville staged civil war i don't know how stephanie's involved with all the grifters how is stephanie involved with <clears throat> the people who <clears throat> the people who set up all the events and she's involved in the PDD case, and she's involved in all this fucking other bullshit. What it really comes down to is, like, as long as... Uh, I don't know. She needs to explain everything, and she's not going to go away. That's the other thing. So, I'm pretty much just trying to stay focused until I get crypto R being done. That could be six months from now. That could be a year from now. I was going to go do that. Like... <sighs> I was going to do that once I figured out who was the one that was stalking me. So me, whatever the fuck. Now I need to know why she's doing all that bullshit. Okay. Cause it's fucking crazy. Um, what is it? This is going to, going to sound weird, but I wouldn't go into it. I want to live a normal life and I want to know why for the past six years, the thing preventing me from living a normal life has been Stephanie. That's what I want to know. Anyways, uh, I'm going to play some video games. I'm going to have to stop playing video games soon. So I'm going to get some more StarCraft 2 out of my system. And then I'm just going to have to do labs and work and all that bullshit. Because $2,000 a, a year on a paycheck after taxes is like five, almost 6 k a paycheck. So if I get two jobs doing that, I'm making after taxes 20 k a month. So if I do that for six months to a year, I can stack up my guardian node, stack up my edge node, double stack my edge node, play all the swings when I want to, stack my Gemini, stack my Kraken, stack my uh, uh, Binance. Then when all that's done and in the bank, then I go crypto arbing. Then I can take all the time in the world. That seems like the plan. So while it was fun to go to Korea and chain smoke next to a Buddhist temple. I did learn how everything worked out. I learned about how to avoid the ham and potato sandwich. I learned not to eat the Shanghai burger. But now that I know how it all works out, I just have to work, stack the dough, and go do it. And then basically, I can be like, this is the whole thing. If nothing else, I want any, anyone who watches these videos to know you don't have to sell out. However you want to define being true to yourself, you can do that and still be successful. It'll be a little tough. It'll be a little lonely. The people will lie to you. They'll spit in your face, you know, to try to rug pull you, but they can't make you quit. They can't stop you. Once they sell out, they're going to hate you more for not selling out. Okay. I basically met Stephanie at a, at a party where everyone was finding out the best way to sell out. And she's shocked that I didn't sell out. She's like, what? You you don't understand that? Look, basically, that movie Kid and Sunni is 
is going to be in where she plays a whore, guarantee you, Stephanie was going to be in that movie also. Stephanie was probably going to be in that fucking Rick Tosser video, whore Sam Junk, other horror movie, other horror movie. So when she took time off in November, it was to be like, I'm not doing any more horror movies. Fantastic. You still need to explain everything. It's never, it's never ever been about the money. It's been about why she can't just communicate. If you needed money to break contracts, you probably should have said something in, in, in March of 2021. Okay. The second best time would have been in December of 2022. Okay. The third best time is now. Okay. The fourth best time is probably whenever you're going to do it. But something tells me that the fact that this has been going on for this long Let's everyone know that Stephanie has something planned and I don't particularly give a shit. My goal is to keep on working or get some jobs, work those jobs, stack my bank account and go do crypto arbing because basically once I start, I have to get it all done and all set up all at once. Otherwise there's going to be hiccups and I don't want to deal with that bullshit. And hopefully I can do it after the election. That seems like that'll be the best time, but work stack dough. It's like <clears throat> crypto, how do I explain it? I don't like selling crypto. I only want to buy crypto. That's the best way I can describe it. Anyways, that's the update. Peace out.